Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? Appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. A favor like that comes with a cost. Of course. Just don't go asking for my rations. Food is not negotiable. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. I didn't take anything from you. No, but you protected the bastard who did. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Eric to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pitt, they'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now. I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. I earned it, Finn. Same as you or anyone else. <laughs> I don't know about that. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers I've never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Oh, God. Giant wolves. It's all right to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrod. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. 
They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch. But this night, and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Watch now! Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. I didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. 
It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. I just took the Black Uncle. Swore my allegiance to the Night's Watch. Even if I were to agree, somewhere north of the wall, it's not a lot to go on. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. I used to be frightened of wherewood trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, too. I wonder. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Oh. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. Wherewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. A prottle. Little shards or something. Quite so, never lift one of those like again. a weapon. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. <laughs> Mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it'd probably break up into little ice. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs>